kid Chip the Ripper And we get higher So I'm on CDR, man, on PNC Radio Code chillin', man, straight from the land to you Brooklyn, what's happening? Y'all ain't know It's like the can't stop me, crazy, crazy record And of course we got the band right here His name is Chip the Ripper, what's going on, brother? Yeah, 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 what's happening? What's going on, Frank the Strip, what's happening? You already know that we're live With the boy right now, man, straight out of Cleveland over here to NYC, man. So let's talk to the audience real quick. Man, well, what's, what's up? What's up, Griffin? What's up, New York, yeah, man? NYC. I come from Cleveland, Ohio, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there ain't as many people, but the mentality is the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just been out here on the grind, you know what I'm saying? Like, free agent, no okay. strings attached. Okay. But you did have a deal before, though, right? Yeah, I, I, was on, uh, I was on Atlantic when I was 18. Oh, wow. Okay. Through, through uh, LeBron's, he had a, LeBron got a uh, record label. Okay, all It's right. called Dream Life, so I was on that. And then uh, got a bottle of that. <laughs> you know, so that got I'm all free, you know what I'm saying? Just okay. doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? That's just, yeah. Of course. And you got the, the new mix at Cleveland show. So tell me about the difference between Can't Stop Me and the Cleveland show. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be another ride, you know what okay. I'm saying? Cleveland show is, is, is uh, actually it's a Cleveland show for real. <laughs> on Fox, you know, but, but we had this in the works for a long time. If you, okay. you know what I'm saying? If everybody out there been, been on it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But right, it's, it's about that time right now, you know what I'm saying? Right after the album came out, we got it, you know what I'm saying? He, he really blessed my life and put me on the album twice. I'm on the bonus <laughs> track too, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So we just working off whatever we can, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, man. I actually want to get into the, the track higher. That's definitely uh, my favorite joint, I would say, off of the LP. Uh, and I also want to talk about uh, you two working together and a few other things. I know Holly definitely got some questions she wants to run across you. Yeah. So if you want to get into some new um, some new chip right now, we're about to get into this joint right here. What's the other? All right, movie, yeah. It's, okay. It's called, it's, this joint is called movie right here. I did a little video with Vimby on with this song, but they didn't get to hear the whole song. So Crack the Strip is ready. It was the first and yeah. only place you get to hear the full and original song That's what of it is. the movie. Let's get into it right now, man. Boom, yeah. chip now tell me, now we, we've seen how much you and Cuddy do work together and mesh, and mesh really well on a track together, yeah. which is phenomenal. And then there's the Chip Cuddy album that they'll be coming out with. Is that still related right. to? Right now, yeah. Me and Cuddy, we formed a group a while back, like when I first let him hear, like, high, like, round well, 808s and heartbreaks. Yeah. Um, he was coming. He was coming out of Cleveland from like Australia and stuff like that, trying to visit his mom. He would come stay. You know what I'm saying? Come on, my crib and just chill. Yeah. And then we just we just formed this group. And the name of the group is off off a strand of bud. It's called uh, Morning Glory. Oh, so we wow. was like, yo, let's just you know what I'm saying. We came up with a couple, but then we ended up coming up with the Almighty Glorious. The Almighty Glory. The Almighty Glory. Capital U S for yes. one word, glorious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that, so even if you hate it, you gotta refer to us as the, the Almighty Glorious. I hate the Almighty Glorious. I hate the Almighty Glorious. How did that stop? That's crazy. <laughs> now tell me about you know the higher record since we're on that topic. How did that come to be? We um we heard the fish the first album you played. You actually had him listen to it. Tell me about how that came together. So um, we had the crib, uh, man, I think we had just came from Eaton Park. You know, we just, it was right by my crib where I was staying at up in Cleveland. So um, get to the crib, chilling, blazing, playing, you know what I'm saying? He playing me, he playing me some of the stuff off the album back then. It's like, it's like two years ago. Right, okay. So um, some of it didn't make it at all, but a lot of it did. Okay. So, uh, so I, I let him hear this one joint, I had just did it. And I was just playing. I did it like five in the morning. I got Pro Tools and all that in my, in my room, so I just record myself. Like high tech taught me all that, all that Pro Tools stuff. So I just do the pre-production right there, just drop the vocals. So I let him hear, I let him hear what I had of higher. Okay. And he played it like eight times then. <laughs> and I let him take it. And then like the next time I seen him was when the, it was the day 808s and Heartbreaks came out. Okay. And he was like, yo. I flipped that. Yo. <laughs> I'm using that for my album. Like, you can't have that. <laughs> That's what he said. Those are the exact words. Wow. He said, I'm using that for my album. You can't have it. Wow. And I said, what? <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> That's what you mean. Please take it. And is there any truth to the, to the remix, which I, I would love to hear with a Snoop Dogg? Oh, uh, man. Up? That's in the works right now. We're going to be doing a remix to Hire with Bone Thugs and Harmony and Snoop Dogg. 
Oh man, I I'm still recovering from, from the movie track. <laughs> and I, I gotta ask, because you mentioned at the top, we know you're from Cleveland, and, and, and you made a comment that it's, it's a lot like New York, just a lot smaller. And everybody I know from Cleveland is like, yo, it is, it, it is hard to generate a fan base here. Like, that's the biggest comment I hear that it's difficult. But you got joints on Z1079, right, right, you got right, fans yeah. going crazy, like you, you nah. selling out shows like you hold. <laughs> right, right, yeah. at, at such a young age, how did yeah. you develop that type of fan base? I mean, it, it really just came from hitting the people with the music instead of hitting this guy and that guy who works for this guy and who okay. knows this guy, you know what I'm saying? We just was, was hitting the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and, me and my homies would just go out and give it away, you know what I'm saying? That right. generated a stupid buzz to where it was like you couldn't you couldn't deny you couldn't say nothing about it because more people was liking it than they weren't liking it. It wasn't just like you heard this dude, nah I ain't. It was like it was like how can you not hear this? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's everywhere. So it was a combination of that and just good good music and, and really when I first came around I wasn't even doing the music I wanted to make for real. I was just kinda of biting the bullet and just was like giving them what they wanted to perfection, okay. and then easing on to what I wanted. Eventually, when I when I had that that, that option, you know what I'm saying? When I had people already riding for me, yeah. so it's, it's it's been a blessing, man. It's been really no hating at all. It's That's just impressive. all love. Like, That's crazy. Like, what was it like for you to, to see the, the hard work paying off? Like you were on High Technology Three. Oh yeah. How was it getting, tech, getting the high tech cosign? Man, high tech. He was uh he was chilling with a. Uh, with a, with a big radio personality back in uh, uh, Cleveland. He, you know, he's in Cincinnati now. But his name is Eddie Bauer, so he was just chilling. And he was like, yo, you heard of this dude? He was on the internet, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever, whatever. He was like, no, that's my man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can hit him up right now. Wow. So it just it just happened like that. Like, it was really high tech. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, really yeah, like, that's my, I just talked to him today. He just sent me a new joint, too. Oh, wow. He's working on a Quali album, man. So I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully, I can be on that joint. Like everything. <laughs> you know what it is? Listen, um, we, were, we were talking about Can't Stop Me Money. And also, you working with Cutty. Let's get to your next project, the Cleveland Show. Cleveland Show, yes. Yeah, it's, it's crazy right now. Mick Boogie, Terry Irvin. They, 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 they mixing that thing down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah. be real ridiculous. It's a lot of music on there, a lot of it can't even fit, so we, okay. that's the trouble of like, narrowing it down because you really can't. Well, if you want to do like, like you know, you know 15 hot joints, joints. You know, like, I'll take all 15. We got, we got 36 oh, joints for the mixtape, and that's more than 80 minutes of music, so we got to trim. I'm gonna let Mick Woogie do that, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what he do, you know what I'm saying? I've seen your last two joints, man. It's, it's been a lot of content. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I, uh, you know, I've seen, what, 30 plus, 20 plus songs and other two yeah, joints. Yeah, 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 no, no. You have to give us records when yeah, you yeah. That's, that's, that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying? I don't, get, I don't get to drop as much as I need to, and then me being the in, independent, you know what I'm saying, just, just me, it takes a while for it to reach as many people as I want it to reach, so. I spread it out, but I put a lot of music on there so you can it'll hold them over till the next time. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy come out. That's real honest right there. That's the Cleveland show. When I, when I saw the title and some of the artwork that went along with it, I thought it fit really well yeah, yeah. with the Cleveland show. Have you watched any of that? Oh, yeah. I, I, I seen the first episode. I was dying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, we got to get a guy to contact somebody over there, get Chip a voiceover or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah I'm ready. You got to see the cover of the, of the mixtape, too. I got an uh, artist up, up in Cleveland called Glenn Infinite. He drew, I, he drew me as a Family Guy Cleveland Show character. Word. So yeah, it's, it's nuts when you see the cover. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, we definitely gonna check that out. You know what it is. Listen, crack the sugar, this radio shit. Thanks for coming through to the show, oh, brother. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You already know, down, man. man. Shout out, shout out to everybody, man, who hold me down, yeah, man. All yeah, over yeah. Twitter, all over everywhere, man. Everywhere. Shout out to Kid Cudi, changed my life. Shout out to. Everybody, you know, anybody got anything to do with me, man, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it. You know what I mean? We ain't even started yet. Let's go. We're going to have Chip up here again when he, when he drops another project and gets back over here and watch it. Definitely going to do that. Listen, are you sticking around for later for the freestyle segment? Or yeah, let's get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, next up is Kids in the Hall. We got Chip the Ripper. He's going to be in the building. Just keep it locked.